A few days ago, Muslims, including a lot of Kurds, finished a whole month of fasting during the holy month of Ramadan, an Islamic holy month where Muslims are not supposed to drink or eat anything between the sunrise and sunset. Let's talk about Ramadan and its celebration among Kurds. Before we start, don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we uploaded facts-based posts, vlogs and much more fun. Search for everything about Kurdistan and click the follow button right now. Also, don't forget to hit the like button on this video, make sure you comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Ramadan is a holy month to the Muslims. The holy month of Ramadan is mentioned five times in the Quran. According to the holy book of Islam, it was during the holy month of Ramadan that the Quran had its revelation. Let's look at the first verse mentioning the Ramadan, Surah 2, verse 185. The month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion of right and wrong. And whosoever of you is present, let him fast a month. And whosoever of you is sick or on a journey, let him fast the same number of other days. Allah desire for you is, he desire not hardship for you. And he desire that you should complete the period and that you should magnify Allah for having guided you. And preventure you may be thankful. Basically, this verse explains to the sick ones and to the people on traveling foot that they are allowed to skip the fasting, count its missed days, and do them later when appropriate. The month of Ramadan has several purposes. While one is to think of the poor ones by not eating or drinking for a whole day, another one is to get closer to God and to take another step into the individual's action with his or her Islamic faith. A common way to do this is to read the Quran while fasting. Let's look at Surah 2 verse 183 to 184. O you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting, as it was decreed upon those before you, that you may become righteous. Fasting for a limited number of days, so whoever among you is ill or on a journey during them, then an equal number of days are to be made up. And upon those who are able to fast but with hardship, a ransom as substitute of feeding a poor person each day. And whoever volunteers excess, it is better for him. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. Now, what about Ramadan in Kurdistan? Well, it has certainly been two special years in the Kurdish society. With COVID-19 spreading, the Kurdistan region has been under lockdown. While restrictions have been lifted and appointed, there is no doubt that the Ramadan celebration would be affected by COVID-19. Muslim Kurds have now gone through a whole month of fasting. In the last days of fasting, the Kurds are now celebrating Eid al-Fitr, basically a festival celebration marking the end of the month-long dawn-to-sunset fasting of Ramadan. The case of COVID-19 has certainly let the Muslim Kurds go through a rather unusual month of Ramadan. Despite this, the Kurdistan Region Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs announced that they had decided to reopen the doors of local mosques for the duration of the holy month of fasting. During the month, restrictions were added to the way of life of the Kurds. Muslims were obligated to perform the ablution at home instead of the mosques. It was also decided that they all have to wear masks and avoid handshakes and other physical contacts in order to prevent COVID-19 to spread as the mosques are being opened. Looking at Rojhalat, it was quite hard to find some reliable information and therefore we asked our contact living in Rojhalat about the situation. Our contact wrote that the Kurds of Rosh Halat pretty much have the same Ramadan traditions as other Muslim Kurds. I'm going to read from the conversation with my contact in Rosh Halat. So he says, As far as I know, it's not that different from other Muslims. They fast and don't eat anything. But from what I see, majority of people don't fast these days because they all have to work and they can't fast. Also in Urmia, Kurds fast more than Shia Azeri Turks, while Azeris are more religious in terms of other Shia stuff. 
During the Eid, they go to the mosques and say some prayers. In villages, people cook best foods and take it to the mosques for breakfast. They all eat together in Eid. Also in villages, people gather in groups and go home to home and visit each other. Kids wakes up in early morning and go home to home to get some candies. People wear new and clean clothes. Also what's really good is that if some people have issues with each other, they solve them in aid. If some families don't speak with each other, the elder meditate and make peace between families. Also, if Muslims have non-Muslim neighbors, they bring food. Like, they always bring us food and stuff. Also, they invite us to the mosque to have breakfast with them. Oh well, there is one thing. Usually, Iran announced Ramadan a day after or before the other Muslim countries. Like, the government announces that on the aid, they force people to celebrate it with Iranian calendar. And if anyone celebrates it with other countries, they will face bad things. For example, years ago a patriotic mullah from a village announced the aid with other Muslim countries. He got arrested, he was from the village Anbi in Urmia. That's why people get confused, otherwise they aren't much restrictions as far as I know. They don't ban Islamic celebrations like they ban Nowruz for example. I don't even know where to start, there's a lockdown but it's not serious. Urmia is in red now. All shops are closed except supermarkets and some other businesses. Restaurants are closed, mosques are half open, schools are closed. People are dying a lot here. There is too much poverty. I'm also dealing with too much shit now. We have this small shop and it doesn't really work well. It's not easy bro. Here everything works to earn enough pay for food. I can't even pay enough for my clothing. Clothing is the last option people think about. Even I can't pay for my health issues too. I need new glasses and I can't pay because they're so expensive. My eyes are getting weaker and the surgery costs too much. We have some lands in the village that we can provide some fruits and vegetables from. Some people can't even pay for a loan of bread or a kilo of rice. I can talk about these issues for days, lol. Now, Ramadan is over and Kurds are celebrating in Kurdistan. Even though there is a COVID-19, this won't stop the people to feel joy and happiness over a full month of fasting tests and showing dedication to their faith. Did you celebrate Ramadan? How was your experience? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like on this video and I'll see you next time, next week, next Sunday.